first off, I'm sure you know this this gentleman. This is Stephen He from Emotional Damage. So that's the guy, obviously you know him, but who the hell am I? So I'm Fortune. I create tutorials daily on web development, both front end and back end. So you learn the full stack right here on the channel. So be sure to subscribe and I really appreciate it. It's free and it helps the channel out. So let's get straight to it. So today I'm going to be helping you guys out to be able to use Bootstrap alongside your favorite React framework because uh, most of us love React. I love React personally. And of course I've been using Bootstrap for, for so many years. So it's really amazing. So I, I really want to use this on React. So I did some digging and I have this prepared for you guys. So of course, as you can see, this is nice. This is a, a responsive, of course it's responsive. This is bootstrap, it's definitely inherently responsive. So to do this, of course, what you want to do first is to create a React app by just running npx create React app. I'm sure you are familiar with this process. As you can see, I've done that and now it's running on my local host. So that's it. Then the second thing you want to do is run this command, npm install react-bootstrap, react-bootstrap, and bootstrap, and just hit enter. And once that has been executed successfully, then you'll be able to follow along with me successfully without any problems. So first of all, I, I just want to clear everything out so I'm going to clear all my connections to this. I'm going to clear. And literally everything else. Up to this point. Yeah. So, and also my link. Okay, so if I head back to my browser, forget that. If I head back to my browser, as you can see, all I have is some text. So I'm going to show you guys now how you can actually connect this so that you'll be able to actually use Bootstrap. And funny enough, it's really very simple. First, what you have to do is to add this particular line to your index.js file. So I need you guys to just add this after everything. So you want to import, what, is it, what did I just do? You want to import, you want to import bootstrap. So just type in bootstrap and then you want the distribution. Then you want the CSS. And in here you want the bootstrap mean.css. Or you can just import bootstrap entirely as it is. But this is just preference. This is just preference. And close that. That's all you needed from your index.js. So once we head over back to our app.js, what you want to do is you look at what specific components you want. You feel me? So um, if you want more information about this, head over to React Bootstrap, the official website, and just go over the documentation. So basically, you have to import these components as you use them. So for this question, I want to use a Bootstrap card. So what I have to do is that I have to import, I have to import card from, of course, from your React, React Bootstrap, forward slash card, and voila. With that, you I can now be able to use a card. So if I was to head back to React, React Bootstrap documentation, and just copy this example, because I just need some card here. So I'm just going to copy the most basic example right there. And I want this centered, so I'm just going to create some center tags. I. 
All right. And then I want to change this title like I did before. Let me just change this to emotional damage. Emotional damage. I so if we preview this, we should get an error, a little bit, a small error, and I'm gonna fix that in a moment. As you can see, we imported the card, but we forgot to import um one of its components, smaller components, which is the button. So what you will want to do is head back and just do let's just duplicate this and then just take these two button. From the good stuff button. And that's it. Perfect. Let's head over and uh no, why do I keep up with this tab? And voila, we have that, but it's not really looking like the first design. So let's fix that. The first design had a PNG. So I just, I just we will skip in. Failure. You are a failure. You are a failure. So, and I just headed over into images. And then I just picked an image I liked. So I picked this side because I like it. And then I just said copy image address. Went back to my code right here. And just paste that in. And voila. Emotional. Emotional damage. And look at that. You have exactly what we had. And so literally, so if you have been using, if you have been using Bootstrap over the years, you obviously can now really go wild with this implementation and use whatever, whenever, the, whatever way you like it, you can implement it. Just type in your Bootstrap code and you'll be able to use it alongside your favorite front-end framework. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, then be sure to demolish, absolutely demolish that subscribe button and give me a like and i'll see you guys in the